kultur, fred och vänskap. Kultura, mirs, draudzība. Kultura, mir i sabrovstvo. Kultura, mir i prijateljstvo. Kultura, fred, venska. Kultura, mir i prijateljstvo. Šakuit, hava mocijun in kerucijun. Vellak, mašar, vart. Politizmo, šerini, filija. Kultura, še doba, ta ne go brodo. Kultura, mir, se brosta. Меня зовут Смирнов Артем, и я приехал из Беларуси. Это культура, мир, дружба, да? То, кстати, два, два определения. Культура эм, и дружба — это одни из это компоненты мира. Культура и дружба — это компоненты ми мира. Вот. То есть, написав все три слова, да, я вижу, я думаю, ну, счастливый народ живет, оказывается, да? Главное, чтобы ты чувствовал, что у тебя ты культурный, ты находишься в мирном окружении и готов дружить и делиться этим с другими. I really like the essence of this one story about one of the encounters between Native American Indians and uh, early European visitors, where they uh, get to, where the European visitors got to experience or discover the different uh, understanding and, and feeling of time. They set on a, on a shared journey and um, American Indian elders were leading the way where the European visitors were in a in a rush to get to the to the destination which they were interested to to see and um, on their journey suddenly the Native American Indian uh, elders set they set in a circle took a time to just sit in silence to smoke a pipe and that made the European crowd very anxious disturbed why are we not you know hurrying to the to our destination and um, with the help of the translator uh, they received a message from the Native American elder that you know we've been we've been such a hurry in such a hurry all this day that uh, our bodies are here but now we need to sit down and wait for our souls and I think that the peace circle is a it's a it's a great uh, great way of entering in this um, space and in the present moment where maybe some of us need more time than others to wait until our souls arrive so it's us there as a whole human being not as just our bodies or not just only our minds and only from that moment when we are present present for ourselves present from each other we can start building sustainable peace my name is Ilza Zanovska I'm a trainer in peace education and particular in this project I've had the pleasure to guide these young beautiful people through the journey of their personal peace building experience and um, as well as work uh, with the conflict resolution and um, conflict prevention in their communities. I believe that no social change is sustainable 
or there's no uh, long-term peace possible if change doesn't happen um, in the human being itse itself. Hence, in this project, a lot of focus was on the personal peace. I'm Deimantas and I'm, I came from Lithuania, from Vilnius, and here I am. My values of life are honesty, love, trust, forgiveness, once again love. One word, love, really like describes everything because when you forgive some someone you love, when you trust someone you love, and I think that love is one of the most powerful and most like important values of my life. I feel that this this like activities really was like a kind of improvements because when you are in school like you you get used to like learning something something not not technical not 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 from inside not spiritual but you like learn some like useless things which you like forget and this place like you really know you really learn how to control yourself and how to achieve peace then maybe how to like touch the glimpse of peace and it's, it's, it's nice Yeah, <laughs> узнать как как мир понимают в других странах My name is Tiani Shalberidze, I'm from Greece. And my values in life are um, very specific. You know, do good things, think positive, um, um, step aside, the, step out of the box and think clearly, not that what just they are feeding you. Think and be clear uh, in your head and uh, analyze everything you are doing, everything you are hearing or uh, seeing and uh, you know, um, to be maintain your humanness inside and and uh, and do always good stuffs. You know, if if you are doing good to other people, uh, you 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 feel good with yourself as well. So it's the most important thing, like to maintain your peace inside you and to in order to get it out in you know, in society, in your work, in everything. If you manage to to feel and uh, to to maintain yourself in peace, it's like, it, it's the, the perfect stuff, you know, it's the goal. My name is Anil Babic and I came from Bosnia and Herzegovina. My feelings are very high to be honest. Um, I didn't expect this much 
uh, it was very professional and the people who was at trainers and people ma make this project really gave this uh, too much to have everything and to be honest uh, I was alone a lot of projects and this is the one of the rarest projects that everything was what was right in InfoPack we made it Even Uh, my name is Erwin and I come from Bosnia and Herzegovina. Okay, the most uh, valuable uh, things in, uh, thing in my life is my family. Bosnian and Herzegovian people, uh, they are most famous uh, uh, like singer, you know, and uh, we also have a lot of uh, popular singers in our country and I think the song is, uh, the song is one way to the peace. I discover my inner peace. Really, really. Uh, I not. Uh, this is first time I meet with meditation and yoga. And uh, after after morning uh, meditation, I feel some um, change. This is the first time in my life I try uh, vegetarian food. And, uh, it's awesome. I like them. I feel my body is light. I think I will continue with that food. Uh, my name is Olga. I am from Belarus. Peace as is an inner harmony for me. When I'm in peace with myself, that is the first step. And then, um, starting with yourself, you start becoming in peace with the rest of the world. So it's such an issue that you have to start from there and that to spread it wherever. In this DC, I was surprised with every coming day, uh, even more than with the previous one. One of the surprises was a great evening with the Latvian dancers. I was so much exaggerated and um, this dance evening evokes in me the most peaceful feelings, <laughs> intercultural peaceful feelings, let's say so. And of course, uh, you know, our um, circle activities, when everyone is sitting in this circle and sharing his personal story, and it's so important, it means that these people who are on this training course, they are really like uh, one big awesome team with one goal and uh, there is a devotion to this goal and there is a trust to each other. And we are sharing our stories from our personal life and do not ashamed of them and are ready to walk with each other. This is, uh, I think, very touching thing. My name is Mohamed. I'm originally from Chechnya and I represent Russia. For me the most valuable values are honesty, freedom, kindness. If we would all have honesty, there would be uh, much less uh, negative situations, conflicts, and so on. I am Ani from Armenia. Most precious values in my life are honesty, justice, Freedom. I 
came here with very high expectations and I fulfilled them because right now I feel inner peace, I feel relaxed and I feel that I've done something. I discovered myself, I discovered the new part of myself and I really developed into someone who's more tolerant, who's more willing to cooperate, who can see the needs of other people, who can identify their feelings and I think that this is a really good start for my journey to peace. Peace for me is when you feel comfortable in this reality, in this moment, and you don't want to change anything because you feel comfortable. My name is Stefania and I come from Macedonia. For me, I most the the things that I value the most in my life are probably freedom, freedom to express yourself, to be an individual, to act that way, to not to be afraid to show what you think, to live in a peaceful and harmonic society and to be tolerant. For me, Peace is harmony within yourself and outside. Peace is feeling free to wake up every day and not being repressed to do something that you don't want to. Peace is smiling at your neighbor. Peace is listening to the birds and everything. Everything around us that feels good is peaceful. In my society and in my city, people are... I believe that we are a peaceful people, always friendly, Macedonians and Balkanian people are usually too hot-headed and doing rash decisions, always letting emotions lead them. So I think that this, this uh, training course, this experience will help me keep myself more calm and uh, transferring my, my new knowledge to other people so that we can maintain peace by more diplomatic... Um, with a more diplomatic way to to do that not shouting and screaming and being too emotional my experience here at the at this training course is excellent i feel like i've learned a lot i feel like i've managed to find out a lot more about myself which I really didn't expect. Um, everyone was extremely nice. I was really, um, I, I felt really good with everything around me. And I think that it's a very useful and eye opening experience for me because not only that I've learned much, I've made a lot of friends and sharing your knowledge with people from different countries and different backgrounds is one of the most important aspects of building peace. So I feel like we did a lot here. What really surprised me was that I found out that people were able to communicate with each other on a lot deeper level than I, than I previously thought. I, I, I thought that friendship is something you build with years, but here I found out that you can make friends in just two or three days because when people are open and, and uh, not, not putting boundaries in front of each other, you can be friends with them just by trying to understand them. I'm Anastasia and I come from Russia. I'm a youth worker and here I represent the organization European Students Forum or IEG, so I represent IEG Moscow. We are a multi-ethnic country, so I think uh, that's a very important topic for us, peace building and finding the peaceful solution for problems. Because in our daily life we 
have to to communicate and to work to study together with people of uh, different ethnicities not only foreigners but also within Russia we come from different republics and we have sometimes different traditions so we need to find uh, a way to understand each other and to live peacefully also I come from St. Petersburg which is a very big multi-ethnic multinational city and we also have many migrants so that's an important topic to to find the peaceful way for coexistence. Bringing different cultures together, exposing or sh showing them showing and sharing the stories um, of uh, personal stories and then the, the, the stories of the, of the country, it is a great source of, of, of learning. By hearing those stories, by sharing them stories, we learn from each other and I start hearing my story and seeing my story in, in the other person's story. By that we are starting to build this um, shared identity, this connection with each other that is beyond you know from what country I come from from what is my gender you know what is my age what is my professional identity I believe that the only way of building peace across borders across different cultures um, is through understanding therefore in this project I spend a lot of time um, building um, uh, for each participant building acquaintance and understanding of, of process of the peace circle, which is a method that is based on the circle processes or the healing circle from the Native American Indian tribes, where uh, people come together as a community when there is a issue that has um, brought up some turmoil or, or um, in, in their community, if there has been a you know, incident, a conflict or some wrongdoing, then each member of the community comes and the precondition is that they come there to first of all be present, present with their physical body, with their mental, emotional and their spiritual self. And so whatever they say and whenever they listen to each other, they're listening from the heart without judging, without analyzing what the other person is saying. So really holding the space. Each person in this circle is responsible for holding the circle. Each person is invited and asked to accept some ground rules, which, are, which is confidence, which is respect, which is uh, respect for what is being said and, and, and for the time that is allowed for a particular person to talk. And, and their time is really important. You can't rush the things, you can't just tell person, you know, no, be open and share whatever, you know, is the most intimate experience of yourself. Probably with, in, in the stories that we heard and people were able to sh share during the project, um, it was amazing how, um, how honest and how, how um, really personal they were, but that is where the most, that's, that's why they're so valuable and, and why many people really appreciated the, the presence and being in this, this project that they could learn from really substantial uh, experiences not from something superficial or only on the surface um, therefore peace peace circles they are great I'm kind of naive in my life and I really like believe in like in true love and honesty and like and those kind of things and Europe has has problems and uh, we are not at peace like it's it's not peaceful here like maybe in some people you can see this kind of peaceness like they want to share this but talking about the whole Europe 
there's a lot of things to change, a lot of things like to improve. I really want to believe it because it's, it's very like nice idea. It's very like it's something that I would should like I would really want to like to be. I believe that everyone is good inside, but conditions around them like makes them close their gate of like goodness and peacefulness. Lately in Macedonia, there's a lot of problems in, uh, with our politicians and there's a lot of protests going on. So we, the people, decided to stop being violent and found a new way to express our, our uh, anxiety, our unsatisfaction and our concerns in a peaceful manner. So now we just paintball every single building in our town because we feel that we must protest and it's a symbol for our unity as different people, different ethnicities, different religions, different generation and it's called the colorful revolution and I believe that that is a nice way to to say no to the people who are trying to repress you by not being violent. I think that this is the most peaceful revolution that our country has ever seen. In our culture we like to to be friends with everyone. I'm proud to say that we are the only nation from ex-Yugoslavia that didn't fire a single bullet on its way to independence and I think that everything can be gained with music, with laughs, with dance, with good food and with talking and honesty which is something that we Macedonians are very proud of that we have this ability to to be honest with each other and and to solve big problems on the most simple way So peaceful traditions. In Russia, I think okay, Russians are known, at least for to some people who came to us uh, for our hospitality. And you can maybe experience it more in smaller places, villages, smaller towns, and less than I don't know in bigger places like Moscow, Saint Petersburg. But even there, Russians are very hospitable people. So it's very easy to become friends with Russian, and they easily welcome you to their home. So it's very easy to break the ice. Uh, very very open and there is I think this tradition of welcoming uh, I would say almost strangers when uh, people travel and for example they stay for the night it's very easy to find uh, I don't know accommodation or hosting and they will really share with you their um, everything that they have because that like in our traditions the best you have you should offer to the guests so even if the family for example is uh, not particularly I don't know well off still they will try to do their best to to impress the the guest with their hospitality and uh, to show to really welcome them in a warm way stereotypes that we are closed and cold because we don't uh, smile much uh, because we don't believe in fake smiles but if if you get to know us we're actually very friendly and like true friends so if you make uh, friends with Russians they usually stay your friends for life which you can really ask for help I don't know in the middle of the night or whatever wherever you will need it so people most of them won't say you know even though at the first appearance we probably come across as gloomy depressed and very reserved Самое большое открытие проникнуть в моем мозгу, в мозге, 
и увидеть там что-то такое, что я никогда не видел, но не чувствовал никогда. Прямо сказать, я э, на каким-то э, ситуациях агрессивно э, себя э, вижу и здесь я э, увидел, что э, нельзя так, э, ну постараюсь не пить таким, как э, пил я. Э, за тем, как сюда приехал. Ну, постараюсь быть э, мирным человеком и строить мир всегда, везде. Все это был как сюрприз, я ничего не знал, когда э, здесь приезжал, э, не знал, что будет, не знал, э, как будет, но что здесь было, это, это было очень круто. Этот опыт, который э, здесь у меня был, это э, с, во, вообще другой жизни, которого, который я знаю, пытаюсь и я не думал, чтобы э, та, такие места, ну, такие э, ситуации где-то бывают. Э, в моем городе, в Кутайсе, э, с людьми отношения, э, но э, там люди э, живут э, с э, стеро стереотипами. В Кутайсе, э, э, вообще-то, жизнь... Э, Не, не, не такое, чтобы э, люди были счас, счастливыми. Э, там э, только люди думают об э, работе, э, утром э, идут на работу, э, вечером возвращаются. Э, они думают о, о них э, в жизни, как э, зарабатывать что-то. Uh, speaking about the cultures and traditions of my country, uh, I would like to say first, we are really very tolerant, very tolerant <laughs> people, joyful, we like to have fun and we know how to do it. And through different celebrations, traditional ones, we uh, unite ourselves every time and um, we say thank you to the nature, to our families, people who are living around us. We know how to be grateful. Yes, and also uh, I would like to say that uh, Belarusian people in ancient time they were uh, like wearing the clothes of light colors and also it uh, means like the color of freedom, the color of um, something really very clean, peaceful, innocent. This circle is built around the um, ancient tradition of Native American Indians, uh, which is known as Healing Circle. And there, the central idea is our ability to be present. In this time and day, when we are in so much hurry, when there are so many responsibilities, so much ambition, so, much, so many requirements, from the outside world or the requirements we make for ourselves, uh, ability to use our mind and our body mindfully, consciously, at the same time, it's a skill that needs to be actually le learned or remembered. 
some of the stories for folks coming from the post-conflict countries, whether it's Chechnya, which is Georgia, it's Armenia, they, it, is, it is really uh, hard to believe that with that experience, with that experience of violence, with that experience of destruction that has been around, they have found that resilience to believe in the human kind, believe in its ability to build bridges rather than walls, to trust and to trust um, with their, you know, with the most vulnerable vulnerabilities of their inner world to the to the people and that is magical. It is similar as the magic that happens in the mediation process, where people who have been fighting, not hearing each other, come together, and with the help of a third person, mediator, they um, discover ability to actually to to hear each other, to understand each other, to be able to express themselves and then come to a resolution of their conflict that is you know, acceptable to both of them. In Chechnya, uh which uh, which was I mean, after which been through two very devastating wars it's like yeah 14 years now people are uh, really willing to live a peaceful life uh, people are really ready for any efforts for uh, just to have that peaceful sky above their heads. Uh, people have been through really devastating two wars and now I still it's uh, a period when people are uh, learning of how to coexist with each other in, a, in the most peaceful way, how to avoid anything which is similar to those, to, to, to that uh, um, those terrible things which we've been through. Mm, I personally think people are still uh, in a phase of um, rehabilitation, if I can say so. So people are working, people are building, people are studying, people really wish to live a full life and uh, live a peaceful and productive life. I hope to carry on what I learned here, what I gained here. I hope to continue keeping that balance inside myself, keeping that peacefulness inside myself. I wish to share the new practices, techniques and experience in uh, my country, in uh, universities, uh, in the youth centers, and working with the uh, youngsters in particular, because uh, we really need that. Chechens are mm, easy to, mm, to to how can I say to, to react or uh, we, we are we are I mean we had such a history and such an events in our life so that we are very sens sen uh, sensitive we are sensitive and too emotional we are like uh, too quick to take something personally not really attentive to what we say uh, so uh, I, I'm speaking about youngsters uh, especially I think that I know uh, specific practices a specific way to 
uh, share the main points of how to keep that peace inside, of how to be, how to avoid conflicts, of how to reduce any hate speech, and so on. And I'm really eager to share it. I'm a war child, you know. Uh, it's uh, 1992 to 1995. It uh, was war in Bosnia, and uh, 1992 I lose my father. And uh, after war finished, I start to volunteer for Red Cross. And uh, 1999 uh, we start to uh, to meet uh, people with uh, another. Uh, entity, you know, uh, entity of Republika Srpska, and a uh, lot of people, a lot of people talk with me how you can do that. Uh, maybe uh, his father kill your father, but uh, and, uh, we need to to continue to to live, and we need to uh, try to trust the other people and uh, that's way to building peace not in Bosnia in every country in this world so we have this national holiday we pour water onto each other and we wash away all the negativity with that and become more peaceful and become more connected. It's called Vartavar in Armenian. I will tell you about the situation in Greece, some difficulties and the problems uh, we have with um, the refugees and the people from um, countries that you know, are in conflict like Afghanistan, uh, Syria and uh, other countries. Um, the situation is much more different than they are telling <laughs> to the other countries. The situation is really tough. The community and uh, the people, actually the residents, in Greek residents, are trying to help and uh, to collaborate with uh, authorities as they can, but individually they also are trying to help. I mean, in, especially on islands, there are like volunteers who, <laughs> who are rescuing people from the seas. Like, uh, they don't sleep, they don't, sometimes they forgot to eat. Uh, if you... If you see some interviews of those people, of those volunteers, you will understand, actually. By this situation, um, the community and the, you know, the residents of Greece, they are coming together at some point and in some ways. The situation is not only tough on islands, which is the direct you know, point uh, when the Greek community are coming uh, you know, in face to face with those refugees. Uh, also in the city center in Athens, the, the, you can see like, uh, you, can, you can walk on squares and see those refugees and the conditions are, are not really, you know, <laughs> um, happy and uh, really good. Um, people are, um, uh, the government and uh, you know, some communities are trying to help them as well and uh, do some things about that. The positive thing in this situation is that um, the people has waking up like uh, their soul, by their souls or something like that, and they are like uh, helping other persons. They are um, putting aside uh, the differences, the cultural, or religional, or any differences they might, and thoughts they might had uh, before, and they are trying to be humans, you know? Um, and this is good stuff. This is actually um, that every country and every person uh, should should do, you know, uh, to help each other. 
we need to understand that we are all humans. The point is to be human and to be able to help other people and to maintain that in that kind of way you can maintain this peace and uh, to reach the level that step aside every everything you have and to do good thing. I'm telling this story be because uh, it's like um, it's a kind of approach on peace because peace is like an idea, peace is like uh, um, Peace is really difficult stuff, and um, if you are, um, if you can uh, do the small things and uh, be human, it's the, it's kind of peace. I think that this world needs more and more of this endurance of spirit where we can hold space for something that is different. People have told me is that they receive impulse and impulse can be very intense and very strong. It can really shake up your core um, and it can kind of re uh, bring you back to, to your roots, to the core strengths that each one of us have within. I think that is, that is important. The most precious discovery that I've found here is that peace is a process and peace is something that we do every single day peace is something that we should continue to build and that we have to work on ourselves in order to be useful to our society on the journey of discovering my inner peace at first i was really anxious and i was really scared to face my own feelings but the trainer here here really helped me during that process and I think that now I'm more able and more confident in myself to to let to allow myself to feel more and to to reach to myself and my self-conscious. I'm absolutely satisfied because I was surprised every day. I was discovering um, something new about myself, about how my, about how my body, about how my consciousness reacts every day. I discovered that in non-formal learning, not every exercise is meant to entertain you. I discovered that the very negative experience, the very negative impressions you receive after exercise can teach you a lot. I discovered that the field of non-formal learning is so uh, wide and uh, various that there are so many techniques and exercises out there and that uh, there, there, is, there is a lot of things that can that you can discover about yourself even though you are sure that you are old and experienced in life. My discovery here was that I am so much connected to nature than I think and I discovered that through swimming naked in the sea. That was great. We were traveling inside ourselves in our head with the help of different 
kind of mediations, yoga practice, exercises. And uh, I would like to say that uh, on the first day, I would not expect in any way uh, what would happen to me in the last day. I mean, um, I couldn't just predict my feelings and my attitude and what would be changed. And that was the story about the inner peace, because I was sure that everything was really like great in my life, because there is no war. I have a family, I have a university I really love. Everything is okay. But when you try to look in depth, and uh, sincerely speaking, we do it very, very seldom, unfortunately, you see many other interesting things, and uh, they do not make you really very much happy, but uh, they make you aware of a real situation, what is going on. And to sum up, I would like to say that the journey was productive, and uh, it teaches me it shows me myself. Everything was with me already. All my qualities and so on, I didn't see them. Now I'm starting to do it. For me, peace is condition when you can, when you know that you are in control of your thoughts, and you know that you can control your physical life and your mental life. Your thoughts are clear, and you feel happy. You feel that everything you have in your life, everything you do is correct, and it gives you everything gives you opportunities and everything gives you relaxation. It's much bigger than, than I thought it was. It was it was like it is like golden apple in the sky which you try to seek and when you see this you'll like realize everything and you will realize that everything is okay and you are happy, you're truly happy and you don't have anything to regret. As human beings, we have our bodies, our minds, our hearts, and they're all important tools. Ability to uh, control how I move or to understand and make conscious choices. How I move, how I use my body, how I use my energy, how I think, how I use my mental energy, how I express it, how I communicate it to the world. It is essential and that is a skill that I believe should be trained from early on. Uh, mindful communication, mindful movement, mindful thinking or not thinking, that is essential. These elements were brought into the training program and uh, such methods as yoga for mindful body movement, for mindful breathing, have been already, you know, tested over and over again in the scientific research, in the Western world. There's so much evidence from, you know, the centuries-long practices that this, these are important and valuable tools for uh, keeping our mind disciplined, for keeping our hearts open and our bodies flexible. There's no more. There's no more question or debate whether our mind or body is connected. It is really clear. So by working with our mind, we can affect our body. By working with our body, we can affect our mind. Healthy body and strong, disciplined mind and a warm heart is all I believe we need. So this project was focusing for one hand on these aspects and by the same time bringing together the Western knowledge of psychology, of the communication skills, so that we are better equipped to go out in the world, to face the, the crisis, the conflict that we might encounter, and keeping ourselves that 
peaceful, balanced mind with what we can um, send and give impulses to the uh, to the world that's not always so peaceful and friendly around us. Bringing the bridging together the West and Eastern practices and um, knowledge, I think it's a it's the method of integral learning and integral teaching and that I believe is the way forward for sustainable peace in this world. For the youth workers, I think peace building and peace way for youth is a very important topic. For the young people, I would say that there are more things that unite us than uh, that make us different. Um, and we should, I think, not forget about our differences, but rather at the same time concentrate on more that uh, unites and brings us together. And through developing inner peace and this intercultural exchange, when you can directly face to face to talk uh, with other people from uh, belonging to other cultures, so you can maybe also question your stereotypes that what you hear from others when you can actually direct contact with these people. Uh, and then create uh, friendships, partnerships and work together and learn to, to be responsible, peaceful citizens. Я желаю, чтобы они были да, такие же мирные люди, как я себя чувствую сейчас. Мирная традиция. Грузинская супра, когда а, все они а, вместе говорят тосты об любви, об отношения с ним, об мира и всего этого. When I think about youngsters and fellow citizens from Macedonia, I I really wish that they could all be more able to open their minds, to think a bit differently, to, to, to get the urge to travel more, to meet a lot of people, to meet new things, new places, and to start believing that everything can be achieved if you just try to be a bit more flexible towards other people's opinions and attitudes because no matter how much you love yourself and no matter how much you love your nation you can never allow yourself to hate you should just be open-minded and try to be more tolerant towards everyone around you because you're just a part of the story it's not the whole story is not about you I want to wish to the young people in Chechen Republic, in Russia, in the world, all over, uh, all over the world, to learn, to learn, to study every day something more, uh, to go out of your comfort zone, to really appreciate your time, to take most of your time and health and the uh, energy you have now to travel to meet new people to communicate more with uh, people from different backgrounds religions and cultures and so on to gain as much knowledge about our world as you can uh, because that will really change you in a very good way
We need to build peace in the world. I wish the youngsters to think clear, clear and uh, outside of the box. That's the thing they should do, you know. It's, uh, it's easy to manipulate young minds and uh, uh, to put uh, really, you know, thoughts and um, grab their ideas. So youngsters should think twice. I hope that I can spread peace and nonviolent communication among my community and I hope that I can avoid conflicts in my life or solve them in a nonviolent way and I hope to become more tolerant and more understanding towards people. I wish all the young people and everyone in this world to be more open-minded and understanding. And the main thing I would like to wish to all the young people from all over the world is to start thinking. Guys, start thinking, start using your brain in the right way. It's not just like a star for watching TV or playing games. Guys, it's really very nice thing that we have and everything is already with us and we can change everything we want. We can make everything we want and uh, there are no like frames everyone is free and your freedom is inside and if you want to spread it it's up to you and if you don't want it's up to you also and the only thing that just like keeps you sitting at home uh, being scared is you so if you really start want to start to live finally with all your heart to express uh, your emotions and to get a lot of them the only thing, the only way to do it is really start thinking, start using your brain, reading books, good books, and enjoy your life. Not take everything too close to your heart. Take it easy and be happy. I want that everyone will decide to, to do what they truly want and they will not they will not follow this like trends or what others say and they will like do as long as they don't ha harm anyone they will do something that will uh, like give them them happiness and peace like I really want from I really like when people do what they want and what they love so I, I hope that this will happen we can become stronger, stronger at the same time also softer in our hearts. I have a feeling that, that um, I succeeded with that. And I wish it for each one of you. Be brave, be vulnerable, at the same time discover your strength in that. Be positive and be peacemakers.